what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel also hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video so this is my hair combed out and i'm about to just go ahead and wash it here i'm wetting my hair you know right before i apply my product and what i'm doing first is giving myself a hot oil treatment this oil i've had for years since i've had relaxed hair i'm just gonna go ahead and massage that all through my scalp um on my edges mainly too because like i have dry scalp i haven't experienced the bad dandruff so far but i kind of have you know previous situations where i get really really flaked up dandruff so i'm trying to prevent that by applying a lot of this product on my edges so i don't have a cap or whatever so honey you got to do what you got to do so here's a bag that i'm putting on my head i'm going to tie it up in the bag get all the air out of it so that i can um finish up this hot oil treatment and i will let it stay in for 30 minutes so it's washed out now and I'm going to go ahead and start applying my products in my hair now. Started off with this detangling shampoo. Um, this is the last shampoo that I had, so I haven't went and pur purchased any more. So I'm just going to apply that all over my head. It does help with detangling. Um, even though my hair isn't that long right now, I just feel like it's still a good shampoo, period. So, you know, just applying it all over my hair to clean it up and everything. You know, you got to scratch that scalp really good. And again, I'm really focusing on um, my edges because that dandruff, I just don't want to have to experience that anymore. So I'm going to try to go ahead and take care of that now. So I'm going to go ahead and wash that out. Ooh, get that on out. And i'm done so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this leave-in conditioner by as i am and y'all i love this conditioner um like i just love it and the texture it's kind of it's not too thick but it's not too thin either so i love applying that on my hair um i do need more but this was actually enough i think i applied um a little more after that um, so I'm just applying that all over my head, massaging it into my scalp and everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, just getting that all over my hair. Also, of course, I'm going to have to comb it out. I'm going to have to comb it out. In a little bit, I think I had some type of um, curling product i don't remember i know it's by as i am but here i am combing out my hair i don't necessarily section it off like in fours or six or anything like that but i just get a little a little portion of it comb it out and do that all across my head and once that's pretty much combed out thoroughly then i can just comb through it now here sometimes i get lazy i ain't never gonna cap and i just comb it ah ah comb it and it, like I said, I think that detangling shampoo really helped too because, or maybe because it's short, but it didn't take much for me to comb it out. So I am kind of going through and just combing it without sectioning it or whatever. I look like I got good hair right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more leave-in conditioner in. I don't know, I guess because I'm about to get ready to, um style it and everything so I want to make sure like my head is really moisturized and I'm able to achieve the look that I'm going for and previously I told you guys that I apply some curling product by as I am that is what this is good texture as well it's kind of sticky but it's not too sticky like it goes on the head really good like yeah when you twist it and everything it don't it's not hard you know and here I'm gonna go in with this wild growth oil. I kind of made my own little thing here. It's the wild growth oil. It's uh, peppermint oil, and it's some it's some blue magic 
grease and I shook all that up so it's kind of it's more thick you know than usual and here I found this little comb thingy at family dollar for a dollar and it just helps to you know massage all of those products into my head especially the wild growth oil that little experiment thing I had going just getting that in my into my scalp now here I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair what I do is just finger curl it I just finger curl it and I just grab a couple pieces. I'm doing some of them small, some of them big. I'm trying to keep it to where I'm doing them smaller on the outsides because it's shorter on the outsides and in the middle do them bigger so that, you know, once it's all done, I can just pull them apart and achieve the look that I'm going for. Um, but yeah, this is basically all that I'm going to be doing right here is just finger curling all of my hair i'm not going to get it all on camera because it did take quite a while to um get all of it done yeah so i was kind of interrupting y'all i ain't never gonna count so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and just finger curl the back now and what i do here is i just go at random pulling out pieces and finger curling them um I just go around and I feel you can you can kind of feel a um, kind of frizzy kind of thing. So you just go around and you find that, and you just pull it out and finger curl it. And of course, I need my handy dandy mirror because I can't see back there. And I try to make it look like something, you know. Even though it's short, I still want it to look like something. Um, I know y'all probably like, why you don't use a little, look at me right there. <laughs> y'all probably like, why you don't use the little um, curl sponge kind of thing. I don't know what people call it, but anyway. But I do, and that is coming up where I use that. But I like to go ahead and define at least most of it to give it that curl look already. Um, but here is that foam thingy. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. So I make sure my hair, of course, is um, has product in it or whatever so that it can help me to achieve the look that I'm going for and I just spin 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 until I get the desired look that I want and that is it just a messy look for the back basically let's get into it period okay so that is the finished look for tonight well, that particular night. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put my bunnet on and here we are for the next morning. Hey, y'all. So, it is the next morning and as you can see, it's all laid down, honey. And I just rub my hands through it to wake everything up. <laughs> wake everything up. But, yeah, so I'm just going to rub my hands through it and go in with this leave-in conditioner mist. Um, by Cantu Shea Butter, and that's mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff too, with oils, um, well, with an oil, and with, uh, what else is in there? Oh, it's, a uh, mist. Uh-uh. What's in there? Oh, milk moisture. Milk moisture is in there. Wow, I cannot remember that. But milk moisture by, um, As I Am, y'all, that is an amazing product right there, honey. Like, yeah, period. So what I'm doing is going in and I'm pulling apart those bigger um, finger curls that I did the night before. And I'm spraying that mist all over my head um, just to get the product in. Oh, and it's mixed with water. It's mixed with water too. So, yeah, I'm going to just go in and I'm going at random, pulling out certain ones that may kind of be frizzy on the ends or something like that or when I pulled them apart they kind of wasn't curled anymore or whatever it is just going at random pulling out whatever to curl it back up and this is basically what I do every morning because I keep the same curls for the most part my curls stay and here I just go in at random and just get the twisting up some that I want to have a more defined look so yeah that's what I'm doing here And y'all, I'm just used to the part look now, so I am giving myself that part back because I do like how the part looks 
um i do need you guys to comment below and let me know some other looks that i can go for i am like youtubing it and pinterest in it and everything like that but i'm trying to figure out what look do i want to try next because i don't want to just wear the part you know i want to give i want to give it a different type of look so if y'all have any ideas comment down below but yeah i'm gonna go in with this edge control this is a new edge control that i've tried because i haven't use edge control in a while so i just picked up some edge control it's okay like it says 24 hours it probably is good for just 24 hours to be honest because i slick have to apply every day sleep so yeah i'm going in and this is just to make sure that part stays in place so i'm using this hard brush that brush hard so y'all probably want to get a hard brush too if y'all trying to achieve something like that and i'm gonna go back in with my little sponge brush thing and just spin up the back just to weight them up too and that's pretty much it y'all that's how i achieved my look all right you guys so that does conclude this video um that is how i get this look um yeah that was my how i wash my hair and how i get my curls and how i touch it up in the mornings so i'm about to get dressed because i'm slick kind of running late thank you guys for tuning in please give this video a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you do to get your look what kind of products can i use what do i need to do um to get some other type of look because this is the look that i will just rock honey because i don't know what else to do i haven't really gotten into doing anything else but thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good one. It's precious.